Hello, I've got another net galley book to talk to you about today and it's one that comes out in January next year and it's one that should have left me feeling heartbroken and sad but it didn't. Um, it's called We All Want Impossible Things by Catherine Newman and it's the story of Ash and Edie who have been friends for over 40 years. They first got together when they were little and they grew up together, they went to school together, they went to each other's weddings, they were, were celebrated e the birth of each other's children. You know, these two women have been close for so many years and Edie is now dying. She's in a hospice near Ash and Ash is her support. She goes to, she will spend nights at the hospice to be with Edie. Um, Edie's husband is in a different town caring for their young son because that's the way they decided it was best for, for the little boy. So it should be a book that is full of tears because Ash is preparing to say goodbye to her friend. But it is isn't it is full of love and laughter you have got the the conversations between Edie and Ash and then you have got Ash's own life and this woman is struggling she is struggling to come to terms with the fact that she's going to lose her best friend but she's also struggling with the fact that um, she's got an estranged husband um, she's got a daughter Belle, a wonderful character, Belle is a wonderful character, but Belle is causing her problems as well. And because she's surrounded with the idea of death, she's almost wanting to embrace life. So she's picking up lovers here, there and everywhere. Ash's sex life has bloomed as Edie is fading. Um, e Ash is just such a wonderful character and the things she does you laugh out loud with her the hospice again it is not a gloomy place it's full of music it's full of light it's full of wonderful characters the hospice is a place where they go to carry on living not a place to die it's a book that is full of love and laughter and tears because right from the outset you know that we are eventually going to get to that scene, the scene when Edie dies. And when that happens, the writing is super because she does not overwrite it. She does not make it overly dramatic. It's Edie just slipping away. And it's beautifully done. It's it's not overworked at all. And yes, there are tears, but there is also love and laughter. It's a book that fills your heart. Um, I can't describe it any other way. You you cry, but you laugh, and it it fills you as well. So that comes out in January. We All Want Impossible Things by Catherine Newman. So I will leave you now. Happy reading. Take care and bye.